Can you put the Therurosaurus to good use and give us a nice English word for this win? <laughs> well, I used it. Epicaricacy, which Epicaricacy? is this, this really enjoying the misfortunes Epicaricacy. of the poor Australians and all those pundits who said we were going to lose, mm -hmm. is from Therurosaurus as well. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think for the rest, uh, I'll give you a word that's not in Therurosaurus, which is quite simply, wow. <laughs> what can you say when the impossible or the improbable actually wow. happens? Mm -hmm. And that's what happened today. None of us woke up in the morning expecting it. Uh, when Rohit was out, uh, that really, I, mean, I, I was convinced that was over. Now it's only draw and defeat. Mm. And look where we ended up. It's, it's, mm. it's, I don't think any Indian cricket fan is going to stop savouring this moment Absolutely. for a very long time. To Absolutely, Dr. Tharoor, we will. But, uh, you know, uh, as someone who considers myself uh, slightly unlettered in front of your Tharoorosaurus, uh, and I'm assuming a lot of you must also be wondering what uh, epicaricacy means, so let's thank you very much, Dr. Tharoor. Let's quickly put on the screen the meaning of this word. Uh, this is from Tharoorosaurus, which means that there are people who derive pleasure from the misfortune of another person or another situation. So it's like uh, it's, it's a Tharoor version of uh, being sadistic. So that, that is the word from Tharoorosaurus for, uh, uh, for this moment. But in the larger context, Shashi Tharoor says, the word he wants to use for India's win is wow. And that truly is the best way to define what has happened today. This is a great moment, not just for Indians to celebrate, but for anyone who loves the game of cricket to celebrate. Thank you very much, Dr. Tharoor.